things about you is that you are not embarrassed to be yourself and you <laughs> have such a vibrant personality that you let it shine through. It's a pass to Clark. Logo three. Oh! Got it! Fitting a logo three. Like, I love how fiery you are. I feel like you care a lot in Alex. I think you're very passionate. Recovered by Gabby Marshall. Here comes Clark. How will she go for history? There it is! You know what? Let's look at the record breaking shot. This is the most Caitlin Clark way to break the record from the logo, going from right to left. Her favorite way to get it done. And when I tell you the Another look at she said she wanted to get it from the logo. This Caitlin is Clark on a mission. The most Caitlin Clark way to get a bucket. I mean, we are talking well inside the middle of the Mediacom logo. You have a hand down when she crosses half court. Caitlin Clark has been making people pay since her freshman year in Iowa City. This shot is an elite shot, a layup for Caitlin Clark. Nobody else in the country that's an elite shot for. There are different rules for Caitlin Clark. Clark from the logo and knocks it down. Bottoms out of three. Clark angles left side. Oh. She'll pull from deep. Oh my gosh! Clark shooting from the D on the media com on the side. Clean this and we're ready to move on. Seven oh. point four and a deep three by Just, Caitlin Clark. I mean, she had barely crossed the half court line. Well, she was practicing those. <laughs> and a three pointer by Clark from the M. That was two big strides past half court. Five. Ten center. That's what that was. Here's Clark across the timeline. She'll pull for three. Got it. <laughs> the edge of the logo. It began to circle on the calendar for myself. I was just really excited to come back here and deep three. Count it from the left wing. That was deep. <laughs> that was a deep three. Two. The B player that everybody has their eyes on, Kaylee Clark really exciting. I had chills when we ran out of the tunnel. It's just cool to see how. We'll watch it. Maybe we can break that 10 this year. Deep three. Caitlin Clark. It's a good thing we measured the logo today, Beth. Now that Clark is drawn. Yeah, 28 is a good number. Look at that. We measured it today. You know, it's part of the preparation. We, we got you... out the Clarkometer. It's all part of Clarkology. The bump right there defensively. Got McKenna Warnock in the air. Clark at the logo. Book it! Ooh, we. Caitlin Clark, I got to guard her straight up. Look how far she's. Look, she's five, six feet away from the line. Caitlin Clark. 11th turnover by the Badgers. Logo. Yes! The beef, the feather. No part of this logo in the middle is safe. Caitlin Clark making it look easy. A 40 footer. Why not? Get the crowd going. Just another day at the office. It's like a 40-footer. And she makes it look so easy. And that's the thing. You have to start gating, or excuse me, guarding Caitlin Clark the moment she steps in the gym. If you can pick her up in the parking lot, that's probably the best place to try to slow her down. Nonetheless, the beat. Clark in transition. Yes! a couple minutes ago and now we've got this Sloan she like slipped too like she kind of slipped afterwards you can't see it there but her feet kind of came out from under her like kind of fell backwards I mean she's Diana Taurasi she's Steph Curry she's insert great news before I thought she got that going up on that 40 seconds on the clock Decision from Clark, you know, she's known as a Logo 3 type of player, and that's exactly what she does. Pulls up from the Penn State logo, a little celebration. Back of the iron, not good, and McKenna Warnock down with the rebound. Here comes Caitlin Clark on the move on the inside. Long three ball, yes! Pops up and right to the nose, too. She's wiping her nose, but can't move your pivot foot. Monica Sonoma coming back. She said, act like there's only two minutes left. Didn't want them to think there was ten. Clark, oh my! National championship. The moment doesn't get bigger, and this woman continues to meet the moment. This last one was from 30-plus. I mean, Kim Mulkey was frustrated because she didn't have any defenders out on Caitlin Clark. Call instead, they got a miss. 
Clark from the logo. Well, you could see and you could sense that she was starting to feel it again. And right here, the rhythm dribble, you can always see. It's is coming up big. Oh, way to play by Sellers. Couldn't quite get the spin. Caitlin Clark. Superwoman has entered the building. Caitlin Clark. Just over half court, just pops that triple in. Look, she's like, oh, we're going to run a play. No, we're not. They want to push if they can. Clark. Theory holds the follow through, but it won't drop in. Clark. Got it. We say logo three, value city three. Caitlin Clark. And Sonata with the rebound. She falls in about seven a game. Look at Clark. Yes! She gets to that low. Shoots the ball at the three-second mark of the shot clock. Nice defense by the Hawks. Rebound by Sonato. Caitlin Clark. I will plus 12 in rebounding in this game. And Every scouting report talks about picking up Caitlin Clark before she crosses half court. And the Buckeyes, everybody inside the three-point line. Taylor Theory, fortune. Caitlin Clark, you got to guard her from the logo. Don't back up knocks it down and and guys who does she remind us of because I can't think of a team Janae Terry nails the jump shot Clark deep Cameron Williams Cameron Williams is coming off a massive game for Michigan she was 23.3 rebounds right now she is putting on a complete and utter show that's the same spot she broke the record with by the way folks layup and that's her signature she loves to Clark you got a guard her out there special in person as Sanders finally gets the Gophers on the board Clark again oh Caitlin we see you we see you and the floater just off target Clark, logo. Clark, way too open. Kamalski has been playing with some more confidence lately, and she knows she needs to step up. Clark! Six rebounds, five assists. She leads in points, rebounds, and assists. Clark from the logo, and knocks it down. She doesn't need a lot of time. She doesn't need a lot of space. The Terps have to get closer. I mean, Jess Shelley was out on her at half court knowing. Again for Drake. Clark wants more. She's got more. The passing lane. And we know she could do a little bit of this a couple steps out. A pace to start. Clark thinking about it. Draws a double. Let's it fly. Out in transition, Clark surveying. Nobody's over there quickly. Passing in to tie it up again. Clark pulls up from three. Oh. Off the back iron, no good. The logo of three, and then in transition again. She gets it out of that left hand, and it's money. Boyd, nothing doing. Clark coming up with the rebound. Head up as always, stops, shoots. Puts it in underneath for two. She's a tough customer now, like her demeanor and expression never change. Clark for three! She comes up the right side. I love the three point shot, but I, I could watch Beers and Snano go at it. This is why you have to guard Caitlin Clark even before she crosses half court. What's that, about 26 feet? When she's going to her left and in rhythm, she's going to turn. And it comes out to Clark. Caitlin, logo three in the country at 93 points per game. Hey, Janelle Allen feeling it right away. You know, this is a team that's not wide-eyed. But... Her momentum's falling backwards. Clark, logo, yes! Added out by McKinney, but picked up by Clark. 
pull up three. Over to 6 5 Boston. Clark gets a clean look and knocks it. Clark steps in for. Nine rebounds for Suarez. Here's Clark. Her first shot of the second half. Got it. Meantime, ball movement by Northwest. <laughs> off the rim by Clark. Block and the bucket. The team's really trying to involve the post players early. Clark gets a screen, pulls up, wing triple, got it. Clark back to Davis. Gives it to Clark. Long three again. Got the. Miller misses that shot. Here comes Caitlin Clark. Yet to shoot today. Didn't take long. Book it. But Caitlin Clark in transition. You've got to be in front of her. There cannot be any point on the floor, 94 feet, where there's not someone within a foot or two of. With Clark pulling up from three and drills it just left to the top of the key. Try to get that transition. It was a great pick and roll play. As Clark mm -hmm. fires a three yeah. pointer from 26 feet left wing. Caitlin Clark, a three in transition. Clark! Got it! <laughs> Marsha got a hand on it. Now Clark across the timeline. Three left wing. Oh. And to Clark. She'll oh fire God. from 25. Yes. What? Was wicked. She just came across the half court. The ball was almost stolen away. She whips it around her back to dribble. Shoots it from 10 feet behind the line, not no other. Knock that down. Clark, a couple of good fakes to get. That is Caitlin Clark's eight rebounds for me. She'll keep it and push it. Won't drop. Another rebound, Warnock, who's having a huge game. That's not the shot. Clark cutting! Always third in the nation in points per game as she hits the... To Holmes! And now Caitlin Clark on the break. Three! The baseline was hoping for a call, did not get it. Clark in transition, pulls up. Cook off to a terrific start here in the semifinals. Clark will fire, and sizzling start from Clark. South Carolina trying to deny Caitlin Clark. Much easier said than done. Here's Working inside, that's a high percentage shot from Clark. Clark off a high screen, lets it fly. Carver Hawkeye wanted to travel there. A little bit of a hop step. Clark makes more threes than anybody in the country. She loves to go left and then pull. I like the way Blair Green has come in and has been aggressive. Great three-point shooter last year, but I figure some of that hot doesn't wear off. Clark. Driving kick to Lau. Caitlin. I recently did an article about the practice players of Iowa having to guard Clark, and they said she is so fast, people do not realize it. You see the speed, you see the decision. Nice slack. You know who it features. Caitlin Clark, I'm shocked. <laughs> that was sarcasm. I definitely taking these three shots, these three point shots right now, and they laid in one, but. Oh, Clark, you know, there was. The rim two, rebounded by Caitlin Clark. And here come the Hawkeyes. Clark with her first three point <laughs> shot of the game. And it Take a look at this. So Caitlin Clark, as I mentioned, got her own board, just hustles up the court, scans everyone, notices she's outnumbered, so just decides, you know what? I'm good enough. I'll pull up from three anyway. Off the rim. Well, Iowa waste no time getting out in transition. Pull up by Clark. Well, back to the rim. Dinner beer can't hit. A 13-3 run for Iowa continues. Short this time. Clark gets the roll out to half court. Pulls up for three herself. That's a no. triple. And just coming into this game, she was 0 for 5. And there's a big three-pointer. Three, her first three of the season. Caitlin Clark on her favorite side of the floor pulls it. 
right there and hugs the net for a three. Nice steal there from Caitlin Clark. Three on three, Clark the pull up. No. By moving the ball, they were able to eventually get a shot, but they have to attack the gaps. Caitlin, it's a time. Commit to Abby Kimball, so she lets it fly. And then on the other end, uh, Caitlin Clark's favorite three to hit, by the way, is from that left elbow wing. And that is just the kind of post player you get here at Iowa under Jan Jensen. Clark. Started off missing their first six shots, then they made six of the last seven. Clark gets fouled on the For her to just pull up. So you have the freshman, Raya Murray, with her hands down. Caitlin Clark's coming. You have to have your hands up and be more aggressive on her as she's going yeah. here. Cleveland State has not been able to finish inside. Clark, transition three. It's a humor sometimes. When you're Caitlin Clark, you can shoot it whenever you want. Look at this shot. It's automatic. I mean, she steps into it. One, two, shoulder squared, feet set. She's having a ball out there right now. Pokies early on, two for 10. In this supercharged environment, Clark. What a great play. Caroline Ducharme has a good size. Clark steps into it. Or even better pass. Knocks the game back up, and here's a Clark three from long distance. Soft time. Clark gets the roll out to half court. Pulls up for three herself. That's Goal from Kahalen. You know, earlier in the ball game, we're talking about the difference in this team with no Monica Sinano. To go here in the first. And we talked about this early in the ball game. If you're the Hawkeyes, you've got to have. Sinano back to Clark. And Caitlin will pull from the top of the key. Got it. No rim again for Caitlin Clark. That's. Arms of Clark. Clark gets it across the timeline. A deep three is good. You try to deny Caitlin Clark the basketball because with it in her hands, her range is almost limitless. This is good defense by Raven Johnson. As they have been really battling just to keep her off the block. Clark, a three. The bounce is around and falls. In and lights it up. That's a good Good shot out of the timeout, just trying to keep this thing close early here. Clark responding beautifully. And Caitlin Clark just in her element, but look at how she's closely guarded here by Sonano. That's not bad defense, that's just better offense. She creates that space for herself, does it? She has yet to score in this game. She loves this move, right to the left for a three. She got it. Let's take a look at this. On the switch here, Theory does a good job early, but boy, when your big switch is out, if you don't get out and really contest, she can create space on that step back like no one else in the women's game. Right now. Six seconds, here comes Clark. Got three, up, pure. Top, it allows her to go left, and she loves this high quad left three shot. She's Already been knocking them down with consistency in the second quarter. Too much room, too much space, and too much of Caitlin Clark here on the left side for Iowa. All right, let's go to Allison Williams with Kate. Clark answers. The third quarter. Clark fades for three. Bucket. A clock. One more bucket here should give Iowa a good chance. Clark tees it up again. It's not coming out of the paint. Great call by Lisa Bluter. Not her most efficient performance, but when it mattered most. Crunch time is Clark time. Looking for opportunity. Step back. Yes. Eight games. We were talking about the depth. You see it right there. Duff trusts his players. To stay in through it. The handoff to Clark. She's eyeing it. Puts it in. 16 point lead is the largest. Clark puts it up and in. The board will be tasked with guarding Caitlin Clark today. She shoots a step back three. Rims. Ah, great rebound. Caitlin Clark. Pull up three. Look out. Wow. The Big Ten, they get about 13 offensive rebounds per game. So that's how they're going to look to get some extra possessions. Caitlin Clark. Six seconds. Here comes Clark. 
Got free. Up. Pure. Back to Davis to Clark now. Clark signaling around the offense. Sinano sits a pick, and here comes Clark with another three-pointer. And that one's no good. Three-pointer, but it goes off the rim. Rebounded by Caitlin Clark, showing that speed right now. Outweaving L-U-N. Wilkie takes that three-point shot. Indiana will bring multiple players here against Clark. Up top, Clark, first shot. Shoot. Have the same colors, so it's hard to tell who's or who. We can tell. Let's take a look at Caitlin Clark reading. Surveying and then puts it. Game plan throughout the season, they only make six per game. No, and it's exactly what Iowa wants. They're playing this 2 3 zone, gonna try to force contested shots from the three point line, and there is Kenny Bush to get him going. That's too much. Strong. And Caitlin Clark will push it up the floor. Clark, yes, beats. And that is to let this young woman score the basketball for you. Hey, man. Allie Bird. Drops down another three. Caitlin Clark with an answer. 51 to 46 after one half. You're watching women's basketball on Big Ten Plus. Well, you better be careful. There might be another one coming right here. Here she goes. You can see it. That's a nice start. And Clark gets the rebound. Brings it across the timeline. Pulls up top of the key. Got it. Tried to get it inside, stolen by Clark. Across the timeline, right side, fires from 25. Oh. Three more for Caitlin Clark. Finish done. Now Clark has a quick release and swishes a three-pointer just left to the top of the key. Maybe all times. I don't for know how that ball got Caitlin to, Clark. To Here's Clark in transition, pulls for three. Got it. Confident jumper mm -hmm. by Caitlin Clark. She has 15. Clark on the push. Pull up. You know it's going up. She got it. He Clark. Clark, a deep one. She got it. Maybe a defense. Against Iowa State. I mean, I guess that's too far away, but what do you do? Because you know that Caitlin Clark can drive by you. Running the break. This is where Iowa likes to play. Clark. Yes. You're running, trying to protect the basket. You get to Clark a little too late. Oh, way too much room. Caitlin Clark's got enough time. Rebound. She averages six and 17 points a game. Here's Clark way downtown. Here's Clark. A deep one. You back. And Clark with 31 points. You know she loves the right to left crossover. We've seen more. Well, Iowa can take their time. They don't have to rush. They were moving the ball fast. Working it around the perimeter, back in the hands of Clark. It's been McKenzie getting the lion's share of the assignment. Here to protect our booth as we look at this last Clark play. Caitlin Clark makes more. There's Clark early on. Person gets the assignment of guarding the best player in the country. Shot is up. Clark missed it. And the pride of Avery North. Or whether that be, oh, I don't know, another logo shot. The signature from number 22 in every bit of rim, but it still counts. Iowa on top early in Minneapolis. Smart play there. Clark pulls up for three. Long. Warnock. Clark, deep three. Here comes Clark. Crossover, step back for three. It's good. And shot clock. Clark, one of those distance attacks, rings it up. Look out. You know she likes that left step back. She doesn't need a lot of time or a lot of space. And Caitlin Clark just nails it. And that's a good contest. That's just a heck of a shot. Good contest, better shot. Better shot. Maybe they can find some scoring from Hart and Grahalski, which they didn't get enough of in the first half. Caitlin Clark! Another space. When you think you're not giving her space, that's still too much space. Well, it, it just the quick crossover, right? She gets the freshman backpedaling, just leaves her in her, in her shoes, and uh, just creates that space. The Front of a packed house here in Iowa City! Behind the arc. Now a step back three. Yeah, Got it. baby! Swishes it just right at the rim. 
Step back three on that. <laughs> Makes it look Jeez, easy. Yeah. Oh. Boom! She needed that. Wow, Clark. Clark, huge three right there. She just took it. She did Here goes Clark. She'll fire a three-pointer oh, and swishes baby. this one from 24 feet. Clark, step back. Good! Drop coverage. He's so balanced, and even maybe more balanced than we thought coming into the Pac-12 tournament. Tara Vanderveer has just had a fantastic... The rhythm on the dribble with Caitlin Clark, the bounce, the right-to-left cross step back every time. It is so difficult to close the gap because she's gotten so much better at getting to the rim. They win it. Oh, that was a quick pull by Abby Myers. <laughs> Clark defended by Benton. Clark launches again. Working one on one. Step back three. Book it! Caitlin Clark. Clark with the step back three. And going three three pointers. Minnesota's thrown a lot of different defenders at her, but she knows what to do. Just step away. That uh, Diamond Miller picked up that foul early a couple of games ago. She got into foul trouble against Michigan. Fouled out. Clark. Oh yeah. Not a joke. <laughs> she tries it. Clark pulls it, nails it. Scoring and averaging double figures, Iowa becomes an incredibly dangerous offensive team. Caitlin going to that step back. They don't want that this year. What they really want is a deep run in March. Clark unloads from deep. Clark and Shinano work so well together. Clark is fouled by Mule. Three point game. And now Holmes up to 14. And there's Mackenzie Holmes coming alive for the Hoosiers. Robin Schenkel. Molly Davis went behind the screen and was and paid for. How about Ronnie Porter? Getting herself to the basket, staying available from three. Step back. Clark threes were just quiet. You're running. I mean, they really will. Yeah, you're right. That was way closer. That was like a layup. More so. Behind the back, step back. Her ability to generate enough space is what makes her so special in those shots. Get to the mid-range game, that's just in and out. In transition, you always wonder what Caitlin Clark is looking at. That's a good answer, a good answer for Minnesota. Now they've got to find a way to get a stop. The step back. And knockdown shot. Kentucky settles for an outside shot for Wyatt. Here's Clark in transition. Well, Davis, you may think that may be a little bit of a deep three. She can go deeper than that. And buys, so they didn't play until Friday, but still their third game in as many days. Clark back. Caitlin Clark's got five early points. You cannot give her that much space. It looks a lot sleeker than it did in the first incarnation. Three on the way for Caitlin Clark. Knight behind the back. Caitlin Clark for three. Bingo, Hawkeye. She's up to 33 tonight as the Hawkeyes lead 79 to 61. We've got Caitlin Clark with the rebound. Long three again. Got us what? It's worked for the last 19 games. Oh, I got a freshman in Cody McMahon. Caitlin, top of the arc, step back, Jay. 20 point lead for the Hawkeyes. Sold out crowd once again here at Carver Hawkeye. Clark creating space and scoring. So rare. <laughs> but, but watch as she has battle, battle down in defensive stance. Just gets her to step back just a minute. Uh, just a can contest and get this close, and it's really hard for them to make the shot. This is outstanding defense by Morris. Hand up right there doesn't matter. Now Iowa will go. Here's Clark. Wheeling back, will fire, and hit! It's coming down, feeling a little physicality, and again, Miller right in her face, and Caitlin 
drains it. The Crusaders have found a little bit of rhythm on the offensive end. They're not going to give up. They're going to continue to chip away. Two to shoot for Clark. She'll need the heroics here. And does it. Is anyone surprised? The shot clock was winding down. It gets away from Clark. Look at Jess Shelley knows. I know she's going to shoot out there. And she still creates the space. And she looks like she made Jazz Shelley think that she was going to use that screen. And, and instead, and you saw Shelley just lean just a little bit. And that's green scoring. Number one in assists. Number two in field goal percentage. Number one in most threes. Clark. Head shoulder. Trying to find that shot. Clark. Deep three left wing. Got it. Swish for Clark. Clark, head shoulder, trying to find that shot. Okay. But it was all IU. They hit the first 15 shots. Kate would have hit that one though. Against Weta. Solano with the screen. Clark needs no room. Foul for Iowa. Well, there's going to be a steady dose of this two-man game right here. And Caitlin Clark just reads it perfectly. There's no led the country in both scoring and assists. Clark hits the three. Down the space on Caitlin Clark. Watch right here. Look at that distance right there. That is too much space. Such a good job of using the bounce to escape a little bit. And Caitlin Clark. The Brenda Freeze said she had a loss in her family recently and was very emotional once they got here, but it was good to see. Starting now, coming off the bench for Coach McGuff. Get some size. Caitlin Clark, you can't give her that much space, Taylor Theory. You know she can score it. You can't back off. She lulls you to sleep with that dribble, knocks down the three. Four seed loss in the quarters. These are the two teams who have survived. The two and the five. Clark from straight away. Caitlin Clark so good with her dribble, keeping it alive, creating the space by getting low to the ground. She's got a little more room to see the rim. See how she just uses the dribble, just a simple crossover. That's what Iowa does when they do it well. They defend and that leads to offense. Clark steps it back. He joked he was going to come back, though, and CD was going to say, oh, no, this is how we do things here. Clark? Clark, all she needs is about... Our officials, Roy Gobey and Julie Cromenhawk, Felicia Grinzer. Is off the bench saying she kicked her leg out. Well, let's see. There's a snatch back right there. Let's see if her leg comes out to create the contact. And I don't think it did, did it? I mean, Chloe Moore McNeil was on the other side. Excellent rim runner. Here's Clark, guarded by Robinson. Clark firing again. Oh, my! Across the timeline, dribbles between her legs. Angles right side. Now we'll stop and fire a three pointer. Cut it! Give her an initial. She's going to pull it. There she goes. By Edwards. Wants the screen. Gets it. Will pull from deep. Off the mark. I think there were two players on Holmes on that bucket. Clark, her first step back of the evening is good. Not great at math, but I use a calculator sometimes. That's four and a half games. Keep it coming. 16 to go. Look at this. One, two, boom. That's her shot. A lot of reference to popcorn. Here and Got to, yes. Clark. First step to the side over. Hemingway. Well, Kaylin Clark doesn't need a lot of space, and she loves the lefty step back, and she's able to create enough. That's a good contest by Jayla Hemingway. Just a three for three from the three-point line. It doesn't matter how far or close you are. She's going to knock it down. 16 matchup. A number that... Lisa Bluter kept bringing up to her team as they prepared for this game. Clark, she got it. Caitlin Clark just goes where she wants on the floor. To the right, steps out, hits the three. Holly? There's a reason Caitlin can get to any spot she wants to on the court. She knows how to use her physicality. She told me herself she's got a little bit of a frail build. Third quarter. Clark fades for three. Bucket. First bucket for the Boilermakers. Abby Ellis now a couple times. Nice job getting into the paint to create. Again? Yes! And then 
Just too easy here. A little bit of a step back. 15 and one Hawkeyes going up against an undefeated team at home, Purdue. First quarter action well underway. You adjust and grow in college is the time where you really make those adjustments, but they've had to figure out how to play through adversity. So CMU takes the timeout. Clark, straight line, pull up, just inside the logo. And the Gazzardo, the head coach. Her team rallied twice in the Southland Conference Tournament for a win. I mean, watch right here, the separation. She likes to move to her left bit. Oh, my goodness, that she hasn't missed a shot yet. She's four of four from the floor. Knocking in threes as well. Scoring number one in assists, number two in field goal percentage, number one in most threes made. And on tough catch for Martin. Caitlin Clark with five for the tie. It's no good. Almost a miscommunication there. Clark with the three. Which way does she go? She goes left. That step back. Scoring when the crowd has been loud. You have to manage that noise. The in-state rival. Green hand-checking Clark. Clark steps away, misses. Well, guys, good news for Iowa fans. Hannah Stolke has checked into this game. She Court then on the three-second runoff. Clark with two seconds, goes up for three. Off the glass. Clark, the step back. Clark, 21 points tonight. Creates some... Caitlin Clark might have gotten away with the push off right there, but Clark will fire and time. She has doubled that. Clark's Sharon Goodman in space as much as they can, even if it's against their five. Grace Buffelli. Two UConn run. Clark trying to force the action. Banks it. Martin back to Clark. Her three. Caitlin Clark, this is like a layup for her. Rhythm dribble left, step backs. Johnson pass out, Clark, three. Clark will fire. You bet! From O'Hare, Caitlin Clark. Now Clark, step back, three pointer, swishes it left to the top of the key. Are they gonna get the ball up in time? Clark for the win! It looks, it's close. It's close. It's close. I got fans behind me saying it's in. I'm listening to them. Like, I got really to take a close look here. Three, two. I don't. Uh, they count it. She good. got it off. It's good. Wow. Listen, this is what Caitlin Clark does, folks. Logo threes. It's her signature. That is the most Caitlin Clark way to win a game from the logo. Mark. Clark pump fake rises and buries it. Caitlin Clark just when it feels like momentum is in the Terps way. Shot fake, create my space. Bottom of the net, living for these moments, hunting these types of shots. Clark, step back. She's comfortable out Can't give her that much space or time. Caitlin Clark has one of the quicker the first half. And, and that's what it's gonna take. And for Caitlin Clark to continue to trust them, to trust that the game is going to open up for her. Well, the left side step, step back. That's the specialty. You probably can't defend it any better than that. The agency here, and they need a bucket. So they go Clark's way. She can deliver. You said they needed a bucket, so guess what? They went 22's way. I mean, I think she's listening to me, Lisa. What do you think? I, <laughs> I think this is just what she does. She hits shots at the most crucial moments. Not afraid. They swing it. Clark, step back straight away. Pure. You're about kind of moving into her, and here Kaylin Clark, other end of the floor. Woo! step back the amount of ground she covers space she creates for herself the follow through extra, extra details the golden doodle oh that one with their largest lead of the game she is nice sidestep 
three from the top of the key and then defensive principles. What are things that they can control to put them in a better position for tomorrow? Step back for Clark. You five positions. Iowa with the ball. Here's Clark. Step back for three. Book it. Caitlin Clark. By Clark, but a strong steal and finish by Georgia once again. Clark with an open look. Swishes in. Clark, step back three. Rattle. At 6.30, it was an hour and a half away, so Jan would be on the road at 5 a.m. recruiting her. Their whole staff. Here, 9 and 0. Iowa coming in ranked number 6, Indiana number 2. And they've stayed poised. Poised, they've calmed down offensively as well. Step back. By Hobby, who sets the screen for Clark. Step back three, no good. And Clark has not touched the ball for the last couple of possessions. She got it this time, and she loves drifting to her left. Boom, all net. And then a touch. Out here on senior day for Minnesota. Wearing a home white with a rune and gold. And that's ranked when she gets to the rim, of course, to start the game. How about to get this fan, these fans going here? Tate on Clark. High arcing. Clark has hit a three on every single inch of this floor at Carver Hawkeye Arena. But right here, that shot, it's like a layup for 22. Four different players. And all four have double figures. A Purdue's type of player. Oh, my goodness. Clark. I mean, this is just a broken play. And then that's the signature Clark step out. She loves going right. Clark, step back three. Finally. She has struggled from three, but be careful. Once Caitlin Clark sees it go through, you see a beautiful job on the step back. Clark. Step back three again. Boom. Uh-oh. A three after a step back.